The Kenya Anti-Corruption Commission has been widely criticized for doing little and to some nothing in the fight against draft. And so, for those against the current leadership of the commission, the coming to end of Vingera's term was a chance to revive the anti-draft war. Holders of the directors and deputy directors positions are nominated and proposed to parliament by the Anti-Corruption Advisory Board, whose members are also nominated by parliament. After the expiry of the term of the initial board, Parliament in February endorsed the names of the new members of the board and forwarded them to the President for official appointment. Last Friday, the President gazetted the names of the new board members with the exception of former Mandera Central MP below Kero. So why was his name omitted? Except what we are reading in the papers, I have no idea. Then the President um, is required to send a memorandum back to Parliament uh, given reasons why he has uh, declined to appoint uh, one of the names that have been forwarded to him. Former chairman of the board, Ahmed Nasir, has criticized the move, claiming it was aimed at clearing the path of Justice Aaron Ningera's appointment for a second term. In an opinion article in Sunday Standard yesterday, Ahmed Nasir, who resigned from the board in 2004, claimed that the president was using the ongoing incitement charges against Kero as an excuse to reject his appointment. According to Ahmed Nasir, the charges against Kero have no bearing to his integrity as a person. That case has not been decided by the court. And two, the, even if it were decided um, uh, by the court, it, it, it's about, it does not really impact um, on, on, uh, on governance or on, 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 on my integrity. The former LSK chairperson further claims, and I quote, the president has personally taken charge of the effort to ensure that the advisory board gives Ringera a second five-year term, end of quote. This school of thought is also of the view that Kero could easily have become the chair of the board and therefore influence the appointment of the chairman of the anti-corruption body. I think it would be misplaced um, for anyone to think that any one member of the, of the, of the Kenya anti-corruption board um, can, can, can influence the uh, appointment or otherwise of, 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 of an individual. I think it is a collective decision. The president is just exercising his right to either reject or appoint. After all, it's not the first time. In 2004, the president declined to gazette the appointment of Dr. Julius Tanguro Teach, who had been nominated by the board. Below Kero was among nine people nominated by parliament. Others whose names have been gazetted include John Khameme, Jatin Mugo, Ruben Kosgei, Dr. Abdallah Kibwana, Suru Tana, Irene Keino, Grace Kaome Injene, and Francis Wangara. The Kenya Anti-Corruption Commission Advisory Board's functions include the recruiting of the director and four assistant directors of the commission. It also supervises and advises the Kenya Anti-Corruption Commission. Hussein Mohammed, Citizen TV.